Good afternoon, my name is Tyler Short and today I will be presenting to you Winchester Steakhouse's feasibility report. The problem that we are facing is that we need to gain more revenue in order to survive winter months. We thrive on summer tourisms and when winter comes we just watch the bank account drain. So we are looking at ways to increase our revenue and to create that cushion in our bank account. By doing this, we are looking at adding and expanding our current bar to create more revenue. Founded in 1999, Winchester Steakhouses sought to be one of the most premier steakhouses in this region. Located in Buffalo, Wyoming, Winchester thrives on summer tourisms. Serving dinner from 5 to 9 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday, we can serve roughly 350 plus guests a night. We currently employ 45 people and we have annual gross revenues of 1.4 million. As I stated before, the problem at hand is we are looking to create more revenue by adding and expanding our current bar. Winter months slow down because tourism slows down. It's no longer the season. Buffalo being a town of roughly 4,500 people and our high overhead costs on food, our current break even is only is seventeen hundred dollars or seventy guests. And a town this small, it's sometimes hard to get seventy people in the door. So we are looking at building a larger cushion of protection by increasing our revenue bought through bar sales because markup on liquor is anywhere between thirty and thirty five percent. So we are looking at expanding our revenue streams from more from less food to more liquor. Our current bar is this room right here. It is an enclosed room with two windows cut open into it. Back in 1999, we only had a restaurant liquor license, meaning that we had to sell all liquor from an enclosed dispensing room. We currently have four bar stools at the bar. With it being such a small bar, we are still able to, in the summertime, get around $4,000 across the bar a night, which is pretty impressive. However, about four years ago, we were able to purchase a retail liquor license, meaning that we no longer need this dispensing room, and we can sell and package liquor through an open venue. We have the same license that any bar uh, that just serves alcohol has. So we can sell and package liquor out the door. We could even add a drive through if we really wanted to. Now that we uh, have this liquor license, um, we just pay a $1,500 annual fee to keep the license. We were able to obtain this license from a bar that went under uh, in the town of Buffalo and we picked up their license when it went on auction. Here are just a couple pictures of our current bar. As you can see, the windows and the closed uh, room that I talked about and our four bar stools. As you can see, it is quite small. Um, when the dining room is full and people want to wait, it uh, has very limited space for people to sit down and have a drink and wait on a table. Uh, so it can feel quite intimidating when you walk in the door and see the lobby packed and the dining room packed. So we are looking at to expand this bar to allow more people to sit, drink, eat, have appetizers, and wait on tables. Not only is this good for us, um, it's also good for um, everybody because it, like I stated before, allows places to seat, which it just currently does not have. We've uh, talked to five different companies and we've decided to go with Barnum Construction LLC. Uh, they are one of the lower bids out of the five bids we had. Um, they estimate this project to cost around $200,000. As you can see here, we have uh, roughly $345,000 in the bank. So this project does not set us back uh, to the point where we can't uh, recover. Uh, it still leaves us with a little bit of money in the bank still. As for expanding and opening the bar, making it a larger bar, it uh, 
like I've stated before, benefits the restaurant because it allows people to sit down and wait on tables uh, during busy summer nights uh, um, while we are full and uh, jamming. Now, um, since we uh, make most of our money from food still, um, this allows anybody under the age of 21 to be within the bar area. However, they just cannot sit at the bar. And this is a good thing for Winchester's because a lot of this bar would be intermingled with the waiting area. And as I stated before, there are no restrictions of having an open bar now that we have a retail liquor license. As for the new bar design, we've hired someone in-house to come up with a design that both the managers and owners have signed off on. Also, though, we asked our customers through surveys and promotions of what they would like to see with our new bar. Uh, two of the big things that uh, we noticed to be a reoccurring theme were they wanted to be able to sit at the bar and actually have a meal. And they also wanted to have plenty of entertainment such as TVs, music, and et cetera uh, to create uh, a nice experience for themselves. Through 40 years plus in the restaurant business, we've owned several different businesses, uh, restaurants in particular, we can expect bar sales to increase by adding this larger bar. Uh, in fact, we expect them to increase at least 40%. Uh, and again, with a markup of 30 to 35% on liquor, this creates a lot more revenue. Uh, and may I add easy revenue uh, for Winchester's uh, making a drink is a uh, lot less uh, labor intensive uh, than uh, cooking food. So this will generate more business for us, which is our whole goal, uh, which was to create uh, create more revenue. And by creating revenue, you need more business. And we believe this bar will create that business we need. Now, here's the big one. We believe that uh, by doing this project, it adds value to uh, the business, not just in the short run by you know, fixing the problem we had uh, in the first place, which was to create more revenue. It will also add value to the entire restaurant as a whole uh, for resale purposes when we do decide to sell this business uh, by adding this other element uh, to this current business model. As I said before, we'd run promotions uh, such like this through different uh, social media platforms we have this one being just our facebook page uh, just to come on down uh, buy one get one any top shelf liquor with the purchase of an appetizer um, as you sit and watch the game in our new bar this in itself this promotion here will create buzz in buffalo uh, during the long winter months that we uh, have in this uh, state um, Getting people out and about uh, to enjoy something new um, is a big plus and will definitely uh, help us uh, with this new bar. Now for the new bar design, we've talked briefly about it, but we'd like to destroy and get rid of these two existing walls. Uh, luckily, they are not structural, so we do not need to put in any posts or things of that nature. Um, with the new bar design, we look into uh, having a bar very similar to the one I am currently drawing for you. Uh, this allows a lot more open seating. We'd have bar stools all the way around. Uh, this allows a ton more seating actually. Currently in our bar we only have a small kegerator which has two beers on tap. With this new bar design we look at we are looking at putting an island of uh, beer taps in the middle to have several beers on tap. Um, this is important to us because um, the beer scene is uh, a lot more popular than it was maybe uh, six or eight years ago. Um, people tend to drink more beer now, uh, different IPAs, hops, uh, different things of that nature, especially with all the microbrews that Wyoming actually currently has. We'd look at putting TVs on the wall, uh, like our customers stated, and just by this sketch I've drawn for you, you can see how this system and setup will be much more beneficial to the restaurant. As people walk in the door here and see that this law, uh, dining room is packed 
and um, have a place to where they can go sit down and have an appetizer and maybe a drink while they wait on their table. Instead of seeing a packed small bar, people might actually stay and uh, endure the wait time to actually sit down in the dining room and have a meal. So that is a huge plus for us. Here's just a brief rundown um, in a table form of the plan and the feasibility of the project. So as we've discussed, uh, the project we want to uh, execute is expanding the bar. Does it align with our business objectives? Yes, it, to increase the revenue, uh, to put more money in the bank for a cushion during the winter time. And we do feel that uh, the profits definitely outweigh the costs of this project. Do we have the uh, place uh, to fit this bar? Yes, we have the space, we have the plan, and uh, it does not currently outreach our current business model because our current business model does include selling liquor. The cost of this project through Barnum Construction LLC is roughly around $200,000. The bid came in at $189,000. The cost benefit of this, we believe to be a, 40% uh, increase in bar sales a night. As for legal and regu regulatory fit, we have all permits, licenses, um, all in place. Uh, like I said, we have that retail liquor license, which is the big uh, key uh, item in this project uh, in place. So that's great. Impact, we believe it's gonna create more buzz and revenue for the restaurant. Potential risk to think about, hiring a bad contractor who doesn't do what they're uh, hired out to do. Unplanned costs that might come up with blowing um, the current bar out, such as maybe mold or bad plumbing, things of that nature. And of course, a time frame. If you do incur these unplanned costs, will that screw up the timeline? Things to think about. This all fits within the company means. We've talked about how the current bank balance uh, was high enough to fund this project and how it won't put us too far behind to where we wouldn't be able to bounce back. So overall viability of this project is totally viable and should be definitely considered um, for the future. So in conclusion, we've looked at the problem at hand, which was creating this bigger revenue gap and cushion uh, during winter months. Our solution for this problem is to build and expand a larger bar. This, as we've stated before, will also increase the value of the restaurant as a whole, but also increase that revenue stream of shifting more of the money from food to liquor. So this plan is totally feasible and definitely should be considered by all top managers and owners. and I hope that through this presentation, you're able to un have a better understanding of why this project needs to be completed. And we've proven that it is in fact feasible. So I'd like to thank you for your time. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.